Problem number two of section 1.3.4 again asks us to calculate a limit um, where we're taking the limit as x goes to zero of this piecewise defined function. Now when we're asked to calculate a limit, it may, we may be looking for a certain number or we may be just checking to see does this limit actually exist. So the first thing I think of when I look at this problem is it's um, defined piecewise. Now both uh, pieces of the function, 3x plus 1 and 2, are continuous, so there's going to be no problem evaluating a limit at anywhere just on these functions. But when we have piecewise defined functions, the problem usually comes in at the point um, where the function changes. So the biggest problem is usually does the, function, does the limit from the left match the limit of the function from the right? So that's the first thing I'm going to check here. So let's take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, where this little plus sign means we're coming at it from the right, of f of x. Now if we're coming from the right, we're going to be coming from values greater than 0, so we're going to be looking at the second part of the piecewise defined function, so 2. So we're going to be looking at the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of just the constant function 2. Well, that's going to be just 2. All right, so now we look at what happens when we come at it from the left. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f of x. Well, if we're coming at it from the left, we're going to be less than 0, so our function is going to be 3x plus 1. Okay, so let's see. Here, this is well defined, and we can just stick in 0 to evaluate this limit. So we end up with 3 times 0 plus 1, which is just 1. So we look at these together and we say that the limit does not exist because the limit from the left, the left limit evaluating from, coming at it from the left side is not the same as the limit from the right. So thus the limit does not exist or just DNE for short. 